Nissan's aging Armada is resolutely old school and proud of it. The maker's largest SUV, it sports body-on-frame construction, three rows of seating, a naturally aspirated V8, and a max tow rating of £8,500. Four-wheel drive is an option on all four trim levels, and a limited slip rear axle is standard. While all Armadas are well equipped, the upper trims roll on luxury features, including quilted leather heated seats, headrest mounted rear display screens, and open paw wood trim pieces, stopping just short of stepping on the toes of the Infiniti QX80 with which it shares a platform and powertrain. The Armada's pricing is commensurate with competitors, such as the Chevy Tahoe, the Jeep Wagoneer, or the Ford Expedition, and so is its 16 mile per gallon combined fuel economy figure. The laws of physics still apply, and the Armada's powerful engine and anachronistic platform require plenty of fuel to maintain the course. Despite this, the Armada's style and relative exclusivity, compared to the fleet of Tahoes and Wagoneers perpetually circling elementary school pickup zones, lend it a certain cachet. Highs, quiet cabin and stable ride, brawny towing capability, upper trims are luxuriously appointed. Lows, guzzles fuel, compromised third-row space, absent-minded steering response. The 2024 Armada carries over unchanged from 2023. It was last refreshed in 2021. We think the SL trim is the best value. In addition to the desirable standard features it inherits from the base SV model, trailer brake and sway control, tinted privacy glass, dark roof rack, Amazon Alexa, and more, it comes with 20-inch aluminium alloy wheels, a sunroof, and a power hatch. Interior upgrades include leather appointments, a 13-speaker Bose audio system, a heated steering wheel, and the availability of the optional second-row captain's chairs, a worthy add-on. In any trim, the Armada looks like an absolute steal compared to the Infiniti QX80, which shares the same platform and powertrain, for buyers more concerned with capability than status. The Armada is powered by a stout 5.6-litre V8 rated for 400 horsepower and 413 pound-feet of torque. Premium fuel is recommended, but regular is acceptable and delivers slightly diminished performance. A 7-speed automatic transmission handles gear swaps. An independent rear suspension does its best to tame broken pavement while providing decent body control, but its ride and handling feel dated compared to the latest Chevrolet Tahoe and GMC Yukon. The steering, too, is showing its age, returning driver inputs with lazy and imprecise responses. On the other hand, interior noise levels are commendably hushed, and long highway slogs pass effortlessly. The 2024 Nissan Armada is rated to tow up to £8,500 in both two- and four-wheel drive versions. That's a significant amount, more than rivals such as the Chevy Suburban and Tahoe. The current Ford Expedition, Toyota Sequoia, and Jeep Wagoneer can tug more, but the Armada's £8,500 rating should cover most users. The Armada's naturally aspirated 5.6-litre V8, 7-speed automatic, and hefty curb weight make for a thirsty combo. The Armada's spacious interior is one of its best qualities. The three-row SUV is available as either an eight- or seven-passenger vehicle, with optional second-row captain's chairs replacing the bench in the latter configuration, SV trim and up. These fold easily and quickly with a handle that springs the seat forward, resetting the seat must be done manually, however. Like many old-school SUVs, the third row is the Achilles heel, and the groom here is significantly less than offered by the updated Tahoe, Yukon, and Wagoneer SUVs. The power folding third row, standard on the SL and up, can be raised and lowered via buttons in the cargo area or on the third row's armrests, but snails move faster. The cabin is quiet, and even the cloth seating in the base S trim feels comfortable, if not luxurious. The top of the line Platinum model has quilted seat surfaces ventilated seats, a leather-wrapped and heated steering wheel, a heated second row, and open-pore wood-like trim, accentuating the luxury SUV ambience. 
you can't miss the large 12.3-inch touchscreen infotainment sitting atop the dashboard. Though it's been outsized recently by the screen in the new Sequoia and other competitors, it remains bright with legible icons and scores points for including rotary controls for volume and tuning. Standard tech includes navigation, Sirius XM satellite radio, subscription required, and standard Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay. There are USB Type-A and Type-C ports front and rear, a 120-volt outlet on SL and above, and wireless smartphone charging on SV and up. The mid-level SL model adds a 13-speaker Bose audio system, and the top-of-the-line platinum trim features a rear seat entertainment system with dual 8.0-inch screens. Every Armada has a host of standard driver assistance technology. Key safety features include, standard automated emergency braking, standard lane departure warning and lane keeping assist, standard blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert.